And if you want to grow your business through podcasting, today I'm going to teach you exactly how to do that. But first, let's make some noise for you watching this or listening to this. That means you want to better yourself, and that's what we're all about here is bettering yourself. And today I really want to teach you some ways to grow your business through podcasting. You know, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. And uh, podcasting is such a new medium. A lot of people are starting to do it. And you can easily grow your business through it, make a lot of connection, things like that. So that's what we're going to talk about today. My name is Zach Scholl. I am the host of the Coaches and Content Podcast. We do about two episodes a week. And we're teaching uh, entrepreneurs and coaches, business owners, you know, how to grow their business, how to get clients through creating content and digital marketing. You know, I interview different experts and, and uh, different guests once a week. And then I have a live stream episode like this once a week. We just did an episode about automation and how to automate your business. You know, we've covered SEO, content creation. So that's the type of stuff you can expect from the Coaches and Content Podcast. And it's available on YouTube and uh, all podcast platforms. So be sure to check that out. You know, if you like this stream, you want to learn more about digital marketing, things like that. That's what you can expect from it. Um, but enough about me because it's all about you guys. That's why I'm here to help others. You know, hopefully one person learns something from this and they grow their business through podcasting. That would be awesome. So there's no fluff around here. So let's just get into things, right? So today we're going to talk about how to grow your business through podcasting because, you know, having a podcast is fun and it's great, but I try to do everything with purpose and do everything for a reason, you know. We don't want to waste our time. We want to maximize our time, whatever we do. So while podcasting is fun, you really want to use it as a tool and a medium to grow your business. And it's super important that you do that because otherwise, you know, it's kind of a hobby and you want to make this a professional thing. So that's why I want to talk to you about how to grow your business through podcasting. The number one thing that will help you grow your business through podcasting it's brand awareness and becoming an authority. So by you having your own podcast and releasing content, you're building a relationship with people, you know, whether they're watching your videos or listening to the audio. So you're automatically becoming the authority to your audience. So whatever your niche is or whatever your field is, the people that are listening to you are looking to you as a teacher, as an expert, and they're learning from you. And when people think you're the authority, they know, like, and trust you, and then they want to do business with you. So when they're ready to buy or sell whatever you're doing, you're going to be on top of their mind, and they're going to remember you because they're already listening to your content. You know, we talk about in marketing, sometimes you have to touch people about 10 or 12 times before you can make a sale. Well, how about 10 or 12 podcast episodes? You know, you're basically doing sales without doing sales indirectly because you're just building a relationship with people by releasing content. So, um, you know, becoming an authority in your field or niche is super important. And um, by steadily releasing content, it's a great way to do that. So that's how you become authority with people is you have your platform, they're watching your videos, they're listening to you, and they're listening to you talk about whatever they're interested in. And when they're ready to buy or sell, they're gonna reach out to you. It also helps with your brand awareness because you're gonna be consistently promoting this on your social media, your email list, you know, if you have a brick and mortar, you're going to be uh, promoting it there. So it's giving you a reason to talk about your brand and promote yourself and put yourself out there. Because when you have a podcast, you know, you're going to be consistently releasing content. So every week or every two weeks, once a month, whatever it is, um, every time you do that, you're raising the awareness around your brand even more because you just keep putting out content consistently. You know, I've been doing uh, coaches and content podcast since March. I haven't missed a week since. And, you know, every week I'm getting more views, more downloads, more people reaching out to me, more clients, and I'm just being consistent. And my brand awareness is going through the roof because I'm constantly putting out content to uh, reinforce my branding and get people talking, get people listening. So the biggest thing, in my opinion, for how to grow your business through podcasting is really you become the authority and brand awareness because you need the awareness. Our attention spans are so short. There's so much content out there. We're inundated with so much stuff. So by you just being consistent and releasing your own stuff, 
Uh, it helps raise your brand above other people because more and more people are podcasting, but still people aren't catching on yet. So you can jump on it now before the competitors do it or the other guy across town, you'll be better off and your brand will be growing faster than there will be because you're putting out content. So the next way to grow your business through podcasting, which is probably almost just as important as brand awareness is you get to develop relationships through conversations. So by having like an interview based show, which I highly recommend, um, it gives you a reason to reach out to people and talk to people that you might not normally have talked to. Um, you know, maybe somebody important in your community, the mayor, um, if you sell insurance, maybe it's a title guy, or if you're a real estate agent, the title guy, you know, things like that. So I want to give you an example, you know, in college, I used to interview rappers and actors and celebrities for a pretty big website. And I got to interview a lot of cool people that I normally wouldn't talk to. I got to interview uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, a bunch of old school rappers, a lot of comedians. Uh, I got to interview Ice-T, the rapper from, and uh, he's also from Law & Order SVU. That was super awesome. And I, normally I'm not going to, when am I going to be able to talk to Ice-T? You know, I'm not going to be able to hang out with him and, you know, you know, shoot the stuff with him. But because I had a um, podcast and I wrote for a website, it gave me access to Ice-T and I got to talk to him over the phone for about 30 minutes. And the reason why I got to talk to him is because I had a platform and he had something to promote, something to talk about. So he got to promote his documentary on the website I wrote for and I got to talk to him. So I'm building my relationships through conversations. So if you had your own podcast, you could interview your Ice-T, you know, whoever it is or your Jake Gyllenhaal, uh, whether it's somebody maybe you been wanting to talk to or someone you might not normally have access to like a CEO of a company or a high level exec or just someone who does something that you want to learn about as well. So another great thing, you know, on my podcast, I have people on that talk about stuff that I'm interested in. I want to learn about, but I also think that my listeners want to uh, learn about. So like I just had an automation expert on to talk about automating your business because it's something that I want to learn about. You know, she has her services and stuff and maybe we'll work together. But by me interviewing her, she gets access to my audience and hopefully, you know, somebody from my audience will reach out to her and hire her. So it's a two way street where I get to talk to her, learn about automation. Right. And then she gets to come on, promote her stuff to my audience and hopefully she'll get some business from it. You know, most people who do podcasts, it's all about a place of value. It's not about selling. So a lot of times. People just want to do it to help. And that's what Mary wanted to do. And um, so, you know, like I said, you can grow your pot, you grow your business through podcasting by building connections and relationships with people you might not normally get to talk to because it's all about relationships and networking, right? And business and the podcasting is not transactional. It's relationship based. So now that Mary was on my podcast, you know, I can find other guests through her. I can hire her. I can ask her questions about automation. It just gives you access to more people and one person leads to another. So um, you can meet one person and that can lead to you meeting three other people and those three other people lead to three other people and so on and so forth. So by having a podcast, it gives you something to talk about. It gives you a platform. It gives you a reason why to reach out to people. It's really like an icebreaker. You know, instead of saying, hey, let's go for coffee or hey, I'd love to pick your brain. Instead, you can say, I would love to have you on my podcast. Let's talk. And that's more powerful than, you know, going to Starbucks and talking for 30 minutes about whatever. By having this podcast, you know, you're helping them. You're, put, you're giving them a platform to talk. And then you get to have an awesome conversation, have some fun. So it just works on a lot of different levels. So, you know, everybody loves to talk about themselves, promote themselves. So more often than not, if you ask someone to be on your podcast, they'll probably be on as well. You know, I've never really had anyone turn me down. You know, you have to be realistic who you reach out to. I always try to shoot for the, shoot for the moon. And, you know, some people don't get back to me, but a lot of people do. And as you grow your podcast, you can also get the, the bigger level guests that you want. So if you interview, like, let's just say you enter the vice president of a company. Well, since you interviewed them, you know, that could next give you access to the president of the company. Because you can say, hey, look, I interviewed... Uh, Bob, the vice president, Mike, I want to interview you, the president. You know, I've used that. I've used that a lot too. I'll get someone that's related to someone 
um, and I'll just say, hey, I interviewed X, Y, and Z. I would love to have you on. Um, so the sky is really the limit with, as far as building relationships through conversations. You just have to be consistent and uh, reach out to people. So that's another way to grow your business through podcasting is developing relationships through conversations. Another way to grow your business through podcasting is what I call swap casting, where you get to go on other people's podcasts. So, you know, I just talked about having people on your podcast, but when you have your own podcast, that gives you a platform to have uh, to go on other people's podcasts because you can say, hey, uh, you know, I have my own podcast. I'd love to have you on. And if you're open to it, I would love to be on your podcast. So it's about it's always about coming from a place of value. And by having your own podcast is very valuable to a lot of people because they can um, talk about what they want to talk about, promote what they want to pro promote, get their message out there, talk about their cause, whatever it is. And you can do the same by going on other people's podcasts and that'll for sure grow your business. You know, I go on a bunch of podcasts. I get business from going on other people's podcasts. Um, so it's just a great way to network, get your name out there. Getting on other people's podcasts is such a valuable marketing tool. You know, it doesn't, you have to put in a lot of sweat equity and you have to put in work to get on podcasts, but it doesn't really cost you any money. You know, it does take time and energy, but it's not like where you have to spend money on Facebook ads that might not work anyway. So getting on other people's podcasts is a great way to grow your business and you just have to reach out to people, be consistent. I actually, I did another video about how to get on other people's podcasts. So if you want to check YouTube or um, Apple or Spotify for a past episode where I explain how to get on other people's podcasts, um, so check that out. There's a strategy behind it and how to do it. You know, you have to find the people, you have to reach out to them, come up with a pitch email, but you know, going on other people's podcasts, a great way to grow your business because these podcasts, they have a built in audience already. They have people in your field or in your niche that might be interested in, you know, whatever you're selling or whatever you're doing. So you want to get on other people's podcasts to get your message out there. And by having your own podcast, it just makes it easier because if, you, <clears throat> if you're going to just pitch them, Hey, I just want to be on your podcast. You know, you might get on, but if you have your own podcast and you offer a swap cast, you know, it kind of puts you the head of the line of other people because, you know, it's beneficial for both parties and it's a relationship thing where, Hey, I'll, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. So you definitely want to get on other people's podcasts and it makes it a lot easier when you have your own podcast. So the next way to grow your business through podcasting is you create what's called a lead magnet or a free guide or something that'll offer an offer to your audience to educate them and you get them into what's called your sales funnel. So for those that don't know, a lead magnet is basically like a free guide, a PDF, you know, it could be one or two pages. And it's basically like a bunch of tips or it educates people on something related to what you're doing. So like for me, I actually just created my um, how to start your own podcast guide, which I can you guys can get if you want. Just comment below and I'll send you a copy. And it's a two page PDF that teaches you how to start your own podcast, how to get a podcast on YouTube and Apple and Spotify and what goes into it. You know, your logo, your name, stuff like that. So by me making this free guide. Um, you know, you can give it to people, but they have to uh, go to my landing page and fill out their information, basically just their name, their email. You can put phone number if you want. Um, I usually just put the name and email, but they'll go to my landing page. They'll put in their name, their email address, and then the free guide will be emailed to them. So that's why they have to fill out the info as well so they can get the guide emailed to them. But then you get their email address and now they're in your CRM. And now they're in your system. So now, you know, you have to, you want to have a checkbox on your page that has them, you know, give them the option to opt into your email list or just give them a heads up. Some people might not want to be on your email list. So when you have a landing page, you're really supposed to have like an option for them to opt into your email list. But once they're on their email list, now they're in your funnel, you know, your sales funnel. So hopefully you're familiar with the sales funnel, but basically it's like you get them into your world, your universe. And then you can just keep sending them more email and more content. You can send them every week your podcast episodes, or if you write a blog, whatever it is. And what happens is, you know, it goes back to the touches where I was talking about 10 or 12 touches to get a sale. So you can do that on autopilot through releasing your episodes and emailing them your content. 
and you know the more they consume your content the deeper they go down into your what your sales funnel the more they get to know you the more they like you the more they trust you and then when they're ready to buy or sell whatever you're offering then they'll give you a call uh, and that's really how it works i see it happen all the time you know if even if you have a coaching business you know you, you want to really set up a bunch of automated emails and have an email chain so that when people opt into your email list they automatically get you know 10 or 12 emails that are informative and teach them something you want to just keep providing them that value and the more and more they provide the more and more you provide your value the more they consume your content the more they want to do business with you because they see that you know you're legit you're the real deal and you just want to help you know you're not like a shady internet guru you know you're a legit coach or you're a lit, legit business person and they just keep consuming your content they warm up to you and then when they're ready they make a move so having some type of lead magnet or some free guide is a great way to help you grow your business through podcasting because on the podcast you know and like i did in the beginning of this i talked about my own podcast where you can go and check it out on youtube spotify so you can do that on your podcast you can mention your free guide for for example i have a client who has what's called the um, goldmine pipeline which basically teaches you how to get more leads so i bought the domain goldminepipeline.com we had a free guide we made a landing page and then on her podcast and in her videos she would say in the beginning you know she would do the intro and then she'd say oh by the way if you want my free goldmine pipeline guide that'll teach you how to fill up your pipeline with leads just go to uh, goldminepipeline.com and download it and people would download it and then they'd be entered into our work our automated workflow of emails and then they would start getting our emails you know we made like 20 emails and the more they consume the emails the closer they were to uh, signing up for coaching so i see it happen all the time that works the other thing you can do too is uh when you have your podcast you know every show has a description so in the description every description you can put a link to your free guide as well so having a free guide is really how you can monetize your audience and get them in your sales funnel so you definitely want to have some type of free guide that they can download and it's something simple you know only a couple pages you don't want to make it too crazy it's just like you know 10 tips to if you're a realtor like 10 tips to stage your home you know if you sell insurance like 10 tips to how to save money if you do taxes you know 10 tips how to save taxes so it's something simple like that it's just giving them a little bit of information just enough so that you can get them into your system and then you can give them more information and then they just keep consuming more and more of your content more and more of your information and that'll grow your business i've seen it happen all the time this stuff works um so having this podcast platform it's a great way for you to funnel them into your other parts of your business whether you sell products or you offer coaching you know having the podcast makes you the authority you funnel them into your system send them more content and keep you know keep making those digital touches and then they'll call you when they're ready and lastly the last way that you can grow your business through podcasting is you just have have more content you know you have more content for your social media you're putting out content on youtube which is super underutilized especially for local businesses you know i see a lot of local businesses who are um utilizing youtube the right way really cleaning up because not a lot of people are using it or don't know how to use it um you know you post the content on social media if you have the podcast you want to be making like TikTok clips from the 30 minute interview uh cutting out 30 seconds so that's another thing you can do with the podcast is more content so you make one piece of content it's all about repurposing and doing everything with purpose so if you make one if you do one 30 minute podcast interview or one 15 minute solo podcast interview you know you can reuse that like about five ten different ways and one way you can do it is you can transcribe it and turn it into a blog post and that can help your seo so you don't even have to you know you might have to edit it and tweak it a little bit so because if you're talking it's not the same as an article but essentially you can make one video and turn that into a blog post turn it into a social media post post the full interview upload the full interview on facebook then a week later you can post a link to the video on youtube because you're going to be uploading it there as well so by creating this content you can just reuse it and repurpose it a bunch of different ways you know you can transcribe a video for free there's a website called otter.ai so 
So literally you go there, you press, you press play on your video, you press, press record on otter.ai, their website, and it records the audio and then transcribes it for you. And then that's basically your blog right there. You just might have to edit it, but you know, it's more content for your website, more content for your SEO. Cause now more than ever, you know, more people, the consumers are more educated than ever. So a lot of us, we just do our own research now. And when we're ready to buy or sell, we might have a few questions, but it's not like where you need a salesperson. You need to have content on your website so people can consume it. So they can get their questions answered. They can learn. And then when they're ready to buy or sell, whatever you're doing, um, they're ready to go because they've already read your blogs. They've already um, watched your videos. So you want to have all this content on your website for people, you know, let's just say somebody stumbles upon your website and they're interested in real estate coaching. Well, when you have all these articles, you know, and you have these videos from your podcast on there, they're already getting to know you and like you and trust you without even having to meet you. So you can cut out a lot of stuff by having videos and content on your website because when the consumer is more educated than ever, they like to learn, you know, they don't want to talk to a salesperson until they're ready. They might not want to talk to a salesperson at all. I've seen somebody um, consume a bunch of podcasts, read a bunch of blogs, and then just sign up for coaching. You know, they signed up for it and paid for it directly through the website. Or sometimes they will reach out to a salesperson after reading or watching something. So by having a podcast, it allows you to um, create this content, put it on your website, and then it goes back to it makes you become the authority. It helps your brand awareness. Because when they land on your website, they see, oh, wow, this person has a podcast. I love their articles. I love their personality. I love what they're teaching. You know, let me go subscribe to their podcast. Let me go subscribe to their YouTube page. And then they just, like, that goes back to the sales funnel, too. They just get into your funnel. And, you know, the more they get invested, they have invested interest. Because the more they consume your content, the more they get to know you, the more they want to do business with you, as opposed to, you know, uh, this guy over here who might be kind of shady, they, you know, they don't really know if they trust him or they've been burned before by other people. But when you're genuine and transparent, people can tell. And when you come from a place of value and you have something to offer, you know, people resonate with that. People love when you help them and offer things to them. So, you know, having a podcast, you repurpose the content so many different ways that'll help you grow your business because like I mentioned, they come to your website, they consume your content. That's really what it's all about is you get them into your sales funnel and they consume your content and it does a lot of the upfront work for you because they're going to watch your videos. They're going to listen to you. They're going to read your articles. You know, then they're going to go on your social media. They're going to see how many followers you have. They're going to see when's the last time you posted. You know, a lot of people take credence to that and it make it can make you really stand out between someone who hasn't posted in a year and someone who posted two times this week. It can really make a difference. So. You know, you have to do everything in your power to get your name out there and attract clients and attract business and creating content is a great way to do that. And creating a podcast and podcast content is the best way to do that because it works on like 20 different levels. There's so many things you can do with a podcast. There's so many people you can talk to. There's so many ways to repurpose it. So podcasting is a great way to grow your business. You know, I hope these tips resonate with people. You know, I'm having a lot of fun doing my podcast. That's the best part of all of this is creating the content. You know, it might not be for everyone, but it is for a lot of people. And I think there's a lot of people who would be interested in it who don't know that they would be interested in it. You know, maybe they don't know how to do it or they're scared to put themselves out there. But if you're interested in starting your own podcast, uh, my company, that's what we do. We produce podcasts on YouTube, Apple, Spotify. So we can either do it from A to Z. We can do all the work for you or we can teach you how to do it or a little bit of both. You know, there's some people who have a team that could do this. They just need the blueprint and the strategy how to do it. So we can teach you the strategy how to do it, or we could do it all for you. Um, you know, I would love to help you. And I also have my free guide where um, the podcast starter kit, where it basically explains what you need and how to start a podcast from scratch. So if you're interested in that, you know, uh, leave a comment below. Or send me an email, Zach at coachesandcontent.com. That's Z A C at coachesandcontent.com. And uh, most importantly, let's give ourselves a hand. Always got to give yourself a pat on the back. Uh, I think sometimes we don't give ourselves enough credit, so it's always important you do that. 
So give yourself a hand if you're watching or listening this. Does it mean you're trying to better yourself and grow your business? And creating content and podcasting is a great way to grow your business. I just gave a bunch of examples. I could go on for another hour or so with other examples, but I think these are the core pillars of how to grow your business through podcasting. Um, so if you're watching this or listening to this, I appreciate you watching or listening. You know, if I help one person with the stream, that's the goal. So hopefully I help one person. And uh, don't forget the Coaches and Content Podcast is on YouTube and all podcast platforms. We do about two or three episodes a week, stuff like this. A lot of awesome interviews, a lot of uh, great guests. And um, so yeah, make sure to check that out. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to reach out. I'm super accessible. I love to help. I love podcasting. I would love to help you. Um, so that's it for today. Um, check in next week. We'll have another training to teach you about podcasting, digital marketing, and how to help grow your business.